There was no shortage of hot topics to talk about when Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto visited U.S. President Barack Obama this week. The United States and Mexico share the most frequently crossed border in the world, with Mexico spending $500 billion buying and selling more U.S. goods than any other country except Canada and China. For Peña Nieto, the trip was a break from crises back home, where economic growth has slowed, the peso is falling in value, and controversy swirls on a number of other fronts, including the recent abduction and murder of 43 students. Later, we'll talk with a former U.S. ambassador to Mexico, but we begin with the latest on the White House meeting from CCTV's Jessica Stone. Jessica, what did these two leaders talk about? Well, a lot of issues on and actually, and we did learn that Mexico will help the U.S. in informing the Mexican public and Central American leaders about who exactly is eligible to take advantage of the new Amer American executive order on immigration, which defers deportations for some five million undocumented workers living in the United States. Many of them are Mexicans. But both governments really want to make sure that those trying to get into the United States illegally will get priority deportation, not temporary amnesty, and that everyone knows that. The U.S. is also advising Mexico on how to tighten its southern border to keep Central American immigrants from crossing Mexico to reach the United States. The two leaders also discussed the normalization of relations between the United States and Cuba. Peña Nieto called that announcement by U.S. President Barack Obama audacious. The White House wants the Mexican president's help to pressure Cuba to reform. And we're likely to see some of that play out at the upcoming Summit of the Americans uh, in Panama in April. Cuban leader Raul Castro is expected to attend that summit for the first time in decades. Obama says he wants to put human rights and democracy on the agenda. Now, Jessica, as the Mexican leader met in the Oval Office with President Obama, there was a demonstration right outside the White House. Uh, Peña Nieto has seen his popularity plummet uh, in the last six months, and that's because of corruption scandals, violence, and including, as I mentioned, the killing of those 43 students. Did they discuss any of that? It did uh, definitely come up in the meetings uh, between the two leaders, on, and We actually, though, did not hear Peña Nieto address the situation of the 43 students publicly. We did hear Obama say that he had asked the Mexican president about the country's reforms and had also volunteered American support for the country's fight against organized crime. Now, while there have been calls on the White House to reduce security aid to Mexico in retaliation for what some see as a worsening security and human rights situation inside the country, the White House press secretary made it very clear on Tuesday that the administration is concerned about the 43 student deaths but does not believe that that incident is part of a pattern of human rights abuses by the Mexican government. And a big focus of these meetings, of course, is improving economic relations between the U.S. and Mexico. Any progress made there? Well, yes. Peña Nieto and Obama, uh, they're expected to announce an increase in funding to the North American Development Bank from $3 billion to $6 billion over the next five years. That bank finances infrastructure projects to improve environmental conditions around the border. The two countries are also taking steps to streamline cross-border trade by building at least three new crossing stations. And they're working on integrating the U.S. energy infrastructure with Mexico's, which could transform North America into a more unified energy block, if not a global juggernaut in energy production. Anand? Thank you, Jessica. That's CCTV's Jessica Stone reporting.